rupees 5600 is divided into a b c and d in such a way that ratio of shares of a b is 1 is to 2 b c is 3 is to 1 c d is 2 is to 3 find the sum of a and c and b and c so here four people a b c d and rupees 5600 is divided between these four people a b share is 1 is to 2 b c share is 3 is to 1 C D share is two is to three. So you know the rule. Two will come here. Two will come here. Three will come here. One will come here. So two right here. Two right here. So when you find the ratio, three into two six is to three into two six into two twelve. Twelve is to 2 into 2, 4. 2 into 3, 6. So when you simplify, 3, 6, 2, 3. So 3 is to 6 is to 2 is to 3 is your ratio between A, B, C and D. So total unit is, total unit is equal to 3 plus 6 plus 2 plus 3. That means, 3 plus 6, 9, 9 plus 2, 11, 11 plus 3, 14 unit. 14 unit is total unit. 14 unit is equal to 5600 rupees. Then 1 unit is equal to 400 rupees. Because 14 by, 56 by 14 is equal to 400. 4, that is 400. 1 unit is 400. So, they are asking A and C. A and C is? 3 plus 2, 5 unit. So, A and C is equal to 3 plus 2, 5 unit. That is 5 into 400 is equal to 2000. Then, B and C. B and C is equal to 6 plus 2. That is 8 unit. 8 unit is equal to 8 into 400, 3200 rupees. So, here 2000 and option 3200 rupees. That is option D is your answer.